Hello guys, as you may know I have already made a video for you where I showed you how to generate infinite base ideas out of random VST. I felt really inspired because of how people like this video and therefore I decided to push this even further to generate infinite leads ideas. The main problem with this random uh, which I thought needs fixing is that it, it sounds like atonal, like you, you cannot harmonize it with your track basically. So like... Even if you select the uh, leads from here, so you just you realize how useless is actually is, and therefore I I thought how you can like squeeze something out of it. So how to do it without using pitch map that not even everyone has? What I discovered is that Ableton has something called spectral resonator, and as per Google, spectral resonator is something that breaks the spectrum of an incoming audio signal into partials, then stretches, shifts, and blurs the result by a frequency or a note in subtle or radical ways. Sounds weird, but this plugin has something really special. It's the button called MIDI. And once this MIDI is turned on, you can then choose the source of this MIDI, right? The same channel that you're on. And once this is done, you can finally squeeze something out of the random. Let's let's check. So it's with... It's already going somewhere, right? It's without. Now to the rack. So basically what I did is that I made an instrument rack where I added the operator which acts as like attack, pitched attack. So if you listen to it without any effects applied. And also I randomized the decay of this pitch. So it always a, a little bit different. I just like difference. So, and uh, also I added three instances of random. Each instance has has been mapped to macros on instrument rack for me to be able to randomize those effects by click open a button. So each of it has a different matter, as you can see from the names of the each section. So it's Valerian, Quantum Meat and Illusium. I hope I pronounced it correctly, but whatever. It's quite interesting to try to combine those together or leaving only one enabled just for the sake of different result. Let's have a little listen and let's play around with the randomization. As you may hear, this sounds like garbage. Well, basically, my rack of effects fixes this problem. Let's see. Now I have ability to to click random to choose whatever instrument I ha I want to have enabled and stuff. So I created this audio effect track where first I put the mono maker, which is just a utility that is enabled with mono. That's because random has some sort of stereoization of the sound. And I don't want this, I just want to control it afterwards. And here's our spectral resonator plugin, which makes this whole magic. Let's try to maybe disable everything else and just leave this plugin enabled. So basically what I did here is just, I, I added some unison sounds, so it, it's, it's now expanded itself into something more stereo, and just played around with decay, and pretty much it, I would say. Now I tried to add the serum effects, because I really like serum effects. Uh, put some distortion, phaser, compressor, equalizer. Also I put three OTTs in a row, because, well, why not? It makes sounds much beefier and much more rich. After that, I added cleaner, which basically is a combination of equalizer and soothe. Then I added my absolutely favorite plugin, which is glue compressor. And why is it? Because I use it everywhere. I literally put it on every sound I have in my mixes because I really like how it works. It just clips a little your sound and then it acts sort of as a limiter this way. And also if, if I want, I can compress sound a little. Finally, in order to enhance the sound even more, we put our effects such as reverb, delay and stuff. And my favorite reverb is Comet. You will ask why? Well, because... Yeah. And so, together with all effects, along with the kickstart, it sounds like this.
And now let's play around with the random. Obviously the MIDI that you can hear, those were generated from this plugin which is Sting and uh, it was made just for the sake of this video because I wanted to make it as fast as I could so but the end result could be really awesome because it all depends on your creativity and the sounds you use and the notes you use and how you harmonize it with your whole mix and stuff so that's totally up to you and I would really love to hear your music when you use this kind of approach which I showed you today so guys all of this can apply you the ability to create such a unique lead sound that you may use in a variety of genres such as techno, drum and bass, house music and, and more like any EDM genre basically. The possibilities were never that endless. And the best part is that it doesn't even require you to have this in-depth knowledge of synthesis and therefore you have an ability to create something really interesting and unique just in a span of some 10 minutes. Anyway I hope you found this video very useful and let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for improvements or you have ideas that you would want me to explore and create a video out of them, I would really appreciate your feedback. Thank you guys.